Okay, so I'm going to show you how to run an independent samples t-test using the software package PSPP, which you can get for free on the internet. Um, and I'm also going to show you how to input the data just by making just a dumb um, a dummy set that I'm just going to make up as we go along. So the first thing about PSPP and SPSS is that you have to define your variables. So um, in an independent samples t-test, you have two different types of variables. You have one that's a categorical variable, which is going to set your um, set your data into two groups, two categories, and the other one is going to be a continuous variable. So the first thing we're going to do is name our first variable, and so we're going to name this first variable height. Okay, and with PSPP it makes you define everything numerically. So we're going to start with just this numeric data type. And we're going to take away the decimals. We don't need decimals. Put zero there. And then we're going to add value labels. Okay, so value one is going to be high. Add that. Value two is going to be low. We'll add that. Okay, so all of ours, all of our data, all of our samples will belong to either high or low, one or two. Now this type of data is a nominal data, meaning it goes into separate categories. Okay, the second variable we have is going to be something continuous. So here we're going to put stomata. So for this we're going to be counting stomata on a leaf. Okay. And again, we're going to have to define it numerically. Take away the decimals, because we don't need those. Um, and then define our, our labels. So <clears throat> actually, we won't have to define the labels on these because it's a continuous variable. And the continuous variable is going to be this scale here. All right, so then we go to the data view. In our first case, uh, the height is it's in the first variable and there were 15 stomata so we're going to do this for all of our samples let's say we did uh, six samples okay then our second group, then the low group, they have some other data to put in here. All right, so I'm just finishing these up. All right, now you may have um, a lot more data to put in there, which is great. But this is going to be enough for what we need to do. All right, so now that we have the data in our data view, we have our variables defined, we can then analyze the data. What we're going to do is go to Analyze, and we're going to compare the means. We wanted to know if there's a statistical difference between our two groups of height. Okay, so we're going to do an independent samples t-test. And this screen will pop up. And our grouping variable then is going to be height. Our test variable is going to, and so that's our, our grouping variable is our independent variable. And then the test variable is going to be stomata, the number of stomata. And so we can define the groups as well. So group one is going to be high, group two is going to be low, and hit continue. Uh, let's see what are the options we can mess with so we can mess with the 95 percent confidence interval we can change it to 99 you won't really have to deal with that <clears throat> all right and then the last thing you do is hit okay when you do that a output screen will pop up and it gives you the results of your test okay now we're going to set alpha or the the point at which we're going to test for significance at 0 0.05 or 5%. Okay? It gives us a mean. Oh, it looks like I only had 5 in the low group. That's okay. 
Um, it gives us a mean of 59 for the high group and 25 for the low group. We got standard deviation and standard error right there. Those could be important for reporting your statistics. But um, what we also are going to do is is the F, you're gonna report the F statistic and this would be the p-value or the significant value, which is at 0 0.029. This is below 0 0.05, so you would reject the hypothesis that they are equal. Um, <clears throat> and that's a one-tailed. If we were doing a two-tailed test where we didn't know, had no idea which one would be greater, we would have to take this value, and we wouldn't reject it at 0 0.062. So anyway, we can, we can save this is um, good for another discussion for and in and of itself, but that is how you do it. So then you can also save this file, export it as a PDF, name it, put it in somewhere, and save it. Okay, that's how you do the independent samples t-test.